Hello, hello everyone! My name is Stephanie Morin and today I am going to read you a little story that I have in my have in one of my bookshelves over there. Now I have a bunch of bedtime stories to read to you and a lot of time, a lot of time to help get you through it all. So here so here I go. The first story I'm going to be reading to you is Hello, my name is and it's about this adorable little, little Dumbo octopus. Look at this little thing. It's so cute. Now this is about how species get their scientific names. And if you notice, notice the art style right away, this was part of a little bit of a, an inspiration from the Finding Nemo little golden books that I had when I was a kid. So, let's get started. Hello, my name is How Adorabilis Got Its Name. If you, if you can see here. Look at all the little squids. They're so cute. Uh, I, I really like this one. Early one morning, when all the fish were tucked away, a new creature arrived in the deep sea tank. It's very tiny, with great big eyes, and eight little tentacles. There had never been a creature quite like him. Good morning, said the new friendly new creature. The other fish stirred with a start. Ooh, a new friend, exclaimed Yeti Crab. <laughs> Look at how small you are, said Angel Anglerfish. I wonder what they'll call you. She turned on her light to inspect the new resident. Call me, asked the creature, looking confused. <laughs> well, everyone has a name here. I use this hook to attract fish like an angler does. So I'm called Anglerfish. See, this is the Yeti crab here, and that is the Anglerfish right there. Look how tiny she is. She's so cute. I can change my shape and color, so I'm called Mimic Octopus said an octopus, the color of the coral behind her. A fish smiled wide, showing his large, sharp teeth, and said, I'm Fangtooth. Can you guess why? And, uh, and that's six a gills, no shark. Because he has six gills he uses for breathing, said Anglerfish. Hey, howdy, partner. What's your name? said the shark, flipping his fin. As you can see, that's, that's the Fangtooth. Six-scale shark. I'm pretty sure they don't have those in the aquariums, but you can keep trying. And that's the mimic octopus. She's doing a thing called camouflage, which means she can blend in with the surface, surface around her, just like any other octopus. But she can also mimic other sea life, like a flounder, a lionfish, fish, fish for example. Let's continue. The new guy concentrated as hard as he could, but he couldn't change his color like Mimic Octopus. He opened his mouth as wide as it would go, but he couldn't find one tooth. He took a deep breath. But when he exhaled, it was only out of two gills. What will my name be? Aw, poor little guy. I can't do any of that either, said an orange and white striped fish. But I have bright stripes like a painted clown, so they call me Clownfish. I glow bright white like the moon, so I'm known as Moon Jelly, said a glamorous jellyfish as she stretched her tentacles. Wow, said the new creature. You're all so incredible. See, that's the clownfish. <laughs> it's not marlin. It's not marlin. Sorry, kids. <laughs> but it is a clownfish. It's quite similar. And these are the moon jellies up here. Very pretty. That's giant squid. She's huge and powerful. 
I'd swim clear of her if I were you, whispered angler anglerfish. The new creature swam by the squid as quietly as he could. Oh, now this. It's one big squid, huh? I hear they can grow up to 60 feet in length. And its eye is the size of a soccer ball. Can you imagine that? As more fish gathered around, the new guy grew more and more uncertain about what his name could be. I don't have bright stripes or look like the moon, and I'm definitely not giant. What will I be called? Do you guys have any idea what he'll be called? Hmm. I think so, too. Let's find out. Just then, he had an idea. What's this? He said, jumping off a high coral. He gently floated down to the bottom. I'm an excellent parachute. Then he wove in and out of the sea plants. And I was the best steerer in my old neighborhood. Look at him go. <laughs> see? See those little, see those little ten, those little tentacles underneath? Those little dots right there? They're his little suckers. It helps him grab onto prey. In this case, probably like really, really small plankton. So it won't really eat you. Look at him. Look at him go. Hmm. They could call me Parachute Steerfish. That's a mouthful, said Fangtooth with a big grin. The new creature grew quiet. What could his name possibly be? Just then, a scientist appeared outside the tank. How are you doing in your new home, Adorabilis? Adorabilis! Everyone cried with excitement. You are adorable, said Clownfish. Adorabilis is the perfect name for you, agreed Anglerfish. Uh, I don't know. Kind of looks more like a bob to me, said Six Gilled Shark. See? That's the scientist. And that's. And that's the little guy right there. That's it! That's my name! He tried it out. My name is Adorabilis. Nice to meet you. And here he is. And he made a little heart. Aww. I think that means it's a sign that he loves you. And he wants you to have pleasant, pleasant dreams. So, that's the end of the story. Thank you so much. I hope to do this every single week. I hope to do, like, every single story, though that might not be possible. But thank you so, so much for allowing me to read this to you. Until then, see you next time!